So I want you guys to picture that the year is 2009. For some of y'all that might actually be impossible because you were only a couple years old, maybe you weren't even born yet. But at the time your boy was about 12 or 13 years old, and I already had dreams of going big on YouTube and kind of making that my career. And at the time, one of the big things you could do on YouTube is be involved in what they call a collab channel, where pretty much you had seven people and they were all responsible for one day of the week they would upload a video onto that collab channel. And now looking back at it, these type of channels were very cringe. But at the time, these guys were almost like boy bands. They were even going on these tours where all these teen girls would come and see them. And so I thought, oh man, I want a piece of that. And so I would audition for all these different collab channels and I would never get picked. But I do remember one time specifically, this guy sent me a message. You know, this was back when you could send direct messages to YouTubers on YouTube. And he was basically like, oh, I saw you audition for this other collab channel and didn't make it. I didn't make it either, so I just want to try to start my own collab channel, and I want to invite you to be on it. And while I didn't do it at that time because I had, like, preteen stuff going on in my life, imagine my surprise when a couple years down the road, I was maybe like 16 or 17 years old at this point, had kind of given up on the YouTube dream for a little bit, and I see the guy who invited me to that collab channel on a Pop-Tarts commercial. Watch me make strawberry cheesecake in six seconds. Mmm, amazing. I know, right? That's the guy right there. His name is Brent Rivera. And as you guys can see right here, he went on to have one of the most successful YouTube channels of all time, amassing over 25 million subscribers and literally billions upon billions of views. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys, I've made a lot of money on this platform and I'm very blessed. But compared to someone like this, I am a mere peon. And as you guys can see, he has kind of like a Mr. Beastified channel. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this guy is extremely intelligent. He's always keeping up with like the latest trends that get the most views on YouTube. Overall, his content is obviously catered to children. Like I'm talking about anyone from probably around 8 to, I don't know, 13 years old. And while he's not the most loved or respected on this platform, I guess who really gives a damn when you pop in like this? At least that's what you would think because something I'm about to show you kind of proves how fragile Brent Rivera's ego really is. And what's up with this video right here? I let a monkey control my life for 24 hours. You're telling me in this video the monkey's gonna hold him down and make me a piece of sh**? And I noticed when I was looking at his page today that some of his most popular videos are very strange. He says, pause challenge, brother versus sister, and uh, he's standing there in the middle of a target with his sister with his uh, pants pulled down. His next video, Little Kids Nowadays, is just a very strange thumbnail. Never have I ever with little sister and cousin. Just very strange vibes going on. But hey, the gig is the gig, the game is the game, and this guy obviously knows how to play it. And the real reason I bring him up today is that he is expressing some bad YouTuber etiquette. He's breaking what are basically the unwritten laws of YouTube. The drama really all started when this guy, Tyler Oliveira, posted this video where he kind of like exposes Brent. That's Brent Rivera calling security and then the cops on me after I asked him this. Do you fake your videos? No. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. What is happening? I should have been having a video where he's pranking. Who? Kelsey. Who are you people? What do you mean? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? Last name? Rivera. What is your name? Dom. Name? Drew. What are you guys filming? Uh, hotel video. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it, because we all know his videos are fake and he steals everyone's ideas. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys hire these people? We don't know who those people is. And unsurprisingly, they made a cameo in Brent's newest video. It's almost like they know each other. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Can you fake your videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> now I gotta be really clear about something guys, this is some really like ticky tacky lame ass beef to me. I mean, do I really give a damn if someone who's making content that's primarily for kids is faking their pranks? This has kind of been going on since the dawn of YouTube and it's really nothing new. I mean, I do see why this guy would kind of have a gripe with him because as you can see, it's like they're making, uh, I guess like similar content. I'm not too familiar with either of their channels, but just based on the thumbnails, this guy's doing the Mr. Beast thing. And uh, he's probably mad because he feels like, you know, I'm legit and this guy Brent is not. And yet he's getting, you know, a lot more views than I am. He's a lot more successful than I am. 
Either way, people love to see this dude Brent get called out. And this guy Tyler actually ends up pissing him off so much that like the dark side of Brent Rivera comes out. And he starts trying to belittle this guy Tyler also while kind of flexing a little bit. Anyway, so they both just happen to be in this hotel. And uh, he continues to uh, what I think is like kind of like seek out Brent Rivera. This is where the douchier side of Brent really comes out go downstairs only to find oh god from our is right there hey uh go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers right? we get that louder uh, you don't have you have a directional mic on my camera hey we're we're filming our thing you yeah. film yours okay yeah let's yeah. not let's not be <laughs> okay that's reasonable be disrespectful okay well you guys talk to me i found that i don't appreciate what, the disrespect okay. what, what disrespect i literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack why did you walk so really in this frame i see nothing but clout demons I mean, I won't lie, the look in Brent's eye kind of tells me that he was ready to put this man on a shirt. Anything can happen in these YouTube beefs. But seriously though, him saying, oh, go have fun with your 100 subscribers when this guy quite literally almost has 3 million subs, really just made Brent Rivera look very egotistical. And it would be my guess that he's just not very well liked within this genre because, you know, he's faking videos and he's stealing ideas and all these different things. Which I'm not saying isn't a bad thing. I'm just saying this guy Tyler is kind of acting like he's out here committing some sort of heinous crime. Get moving. Have fun, guys. We're not harassing. I want to say hi to my favorite YouTuber, Brent Rivera. He totally doesn't fake his videos and it's totally awesome. Hi. Why are you having trouble speaking? I'm nervous in front of my idols. What do you mean? And yeah, the rest of the video is really just uh, kind of more cringe. This guy Tyler eventually gets uh, kicked out of this hotel while Brent stays and does his little uh, fake prank. And this is where the real part of the video that I actually personally care about comes in because this YouTuber who goes by the name Dumpy was out here making a couple videos on Brent Rivera. Uh, as you can see, he blocked me. He needs to respond. He responded. He's getting worse. He's pretty much just doing the, uh, you know, common commentary thing, which is like beating a uh, topic to death. You know, I've done it many times. You know, it's like once you get a banger like this, Brent Rivera is officially canceled. It's hard not to keep your foot on that gas pedal. And either way, you know, he made these several videos, uh, pretty fair critiques of what Brent was doing. It's something that you don't see on YouTube every single day. And this led to this guy, Brent Rivera, getting super butt hurt. And he's now trying to remove all these different videos that 100% fall under fair use. First, Dumpy says, LOL was fun while it lasted. Not gonna concretely say Brent himself is flagging my stuff, but won't be surprised. And as you can see, uh, it appears that one of his videos regarding Brent Rivera has been removed for a uh, harassment policy. And I had personally watched this video, and I don't think anything he said was necessarily out of bounds. I mean, for example, you see someone like Ethan Klein say some way worse things on his podcast podcast almost every single episode. Not saying that he should be removed either. I'm just saying that when it comes to YouTube, these types of policies are not regulated very fairly. And this is where the real problem really starts to come in for me because this guy is pretty much pulling a fresh and fit. Update, Brent Rivera has now begun giving me copyright takedown requests on my fair use content where I criticize his videos. He's claiming I'm re-uploading them, which is a blatant lie. Brent claims his entire video was re-uploaded by me, this is false. I create transformative commentary videos that fall under fair use law. I will link them below. And then he sends a screenshot of what I assume to be an email from YouTube. You know, like I said, I received one of these last year from Fresh and Fit for about three or four videos I'd made about them. And as you can see here, Brent Rivera is basically acting like this guy just ripped his video off YouTube and re-uploaded it onto his channel, which is obviously not the case. This guy was doing commentary. He was doing critique. And it's pretty much the exact same situation that I and many other YouTubers were having with Fresh and Fit last year, where they were trying to silence fairly innocent criticism about them by abusing the broken YouTube copyright system. And this is actually supposed to be like very frowned upon by YouTube. And you can apparently get your YouTube channel deleted for doing this, like making these false claims, but I've never really seen it happen. I mean, all I really have to say at this point is that Brent has handled this situation like absolute crap. And his actions over the last couple of weeks have made him look like a massive weenie. He starts seeing all these dislikes on his new uploads. He starts seeing these different videos being made about him. And I guess he really just couldn't take it, okay? The Pop-Tart King got really mad. And he starts doing these things, which like I said earlier, is pretty much breaking the unwritten rules of YouTube. Because as YouTubers, we all know that the system is a bit broken and that if you do want to abuse the copyright system in this way, a lot of times people do get away with that unless a big enough YouTuber kind of makes a fuss about it. 
In all honesty, this guy Brent Rivera really just should have put out some sort of statement, maybe some sort of apology for acting like an elitist douche. And then he really should have just kept it pushing. Like most situations we've seen on YouTube where someone does something wrong and they're getting a lot of hate for a couple months, eventually a lot of that does subside. And your core audience, which in his situation is largely kids, will eventually forgive you. I feel like kids are like super forgiving in these situations. Either way, I just found it to be a really whack move. And I do think it's hilarious for me to be talking about this guy all these years later. After we were this close to having a little collab channel together, guys, I could have been Brent Rivera 2.0 right now. But really, I just wanted to shine a light on this whole situation. Hopefully some YouTubers even bigger than me will cover this whole situation. Because like I said, it's kind of like you got to look out for each other. And sometimes, you know, you got to police other people because YouTube doesn't always do the right thing in these situations. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about Brent Rivera down below. Like I said, he's a smart guy. He knows how to play the game. But in this situation, he definitely messed up. Obviously, I don't encourage you to send any hate towards him. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video and dropping a big like, maybe even sharing it with one of your friends. But as you guys know, it's Spinny Boy the Tan Superman and some other cringe YouTubers out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace.